Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. Elite Dangerous has been out now for a number of weeks and I bought it the day of its release and I've been playing it pretty much daily ever since. And if you've been following my channel at all you will know that I've put up a number of videos. I've put some a uh, couple of tutorials up and a couple of ship showcase guides on some of the ships. Um, but I thought it was about time that I did a review on the game for a game that I've put so many hours into now. And a game that I'm getting a great deal of enjoyment out of, I have to be honest. So, right off the bat, generally speaking, this is going to be a fairly positive review. Um, but Elite Dangerous, this, to me, felt like, um, after the, I suppose some would say, crushing disappointment of No Man's Sky. I wouldn't go that far. I played and enjoyed that game for a, a good month, and then my enthusiasm just fell off a cliff with it. Um, and it was a case of right what next and I know they've updated it a couple of times since and I will probably try and get back into that game at some point but my hope with Elite Dangerous that I was I was going to get the space simulator that I hoped I was going to get with No Man's Sky and I know they are two different games but um, what we get here with Elite Dangerous is exactly that a space simulator um, of really really high quality but it has to be said to newcomers to games like this, um, an incredibly difficult steep learning curve early on. Um, I'd watched a couple of tutorials and guides on YouTube for this game um, prior to its release because it's been out on PC and Xbox for a while now. So there was quite a lot of footage out there for you to watch and learn from. And a lot of things that I've been watching have been saying things like, you know, once you get over the initial difficulty spike of this game, um, and if you can get through that, then there's a really deep, rewarding game to find after it. And that is exactly the case. And I would, again, reiterate that point to anybody that has got this game or is thinking about getting this game um, to be aware of this early difficulty spike early learning curve and that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and once you do um figure out the first four or five hours of the game i'd say get through that then there is an incredible game underneath of real depth really and if there is anybody new out there i mean i have put um a bit of a basic tutorial for a beginner on my channel that you might find useful if you want to check that out as well. So at the beginning of the game, you get the opportunity to name your commander, and then um, you can change the way it looks in Hollow Me, and you are given access to the Sidewinder, which um, is actually quite a cool little ship, but it's almost next to useless in regards to most of the things that you may want to do with it. Um, so, You've got to kind of figure out early on um, what kind of career you want. Now, my advice early on is is to probably do a bit of trading um, to get up a bit of money to move up to um, better ships. And as you move up two or three ships up, um, that's when you can kind of decide what kind of career you want. And you've got a few options here. You've got trader. Um, you can even be like a passenger liner. Um, you can be like a pirate, a bounty hunter. Um, there, there is a lot of choice here that you can do, and you're not just limited to one you, you, to one career. It doesn't say right choose a career, um, and there are some ships where you can choose to do a number of careers. You know, uh, there are some quite multi-purpose ships. I mean, the ship you're seeing now in this video is an Aspect Explorer, which I found to be incredibly um, multi-purpose ship. So you could do a lot of things in this ship. So. Um, what I've been doing in the game is I've been um, doing a bit of trading for a while, getting a bit of money up and then learning how to bounty hunt and getting a decent ship for doing that to keep the interest up. Because what, what you will find possibly with this game is if you just stick to one career, um, one career path, it could very well get repetitive fairly quickly for you. Because say you just want to be a cargo carrier or something or a trader, you're just flying from planet to planet, station to station, um, delivering goods, basically. Um, now, that's all well and good, 
and it does make you money but it can be, get a little tiresome after a while so you need to look at um, other aspects of the game because if you just stick to one element of it you're probably going to get bored reasonably quickly I mean you can you can even become an explorer where you just go off trying to explore new systems and stuff um, you can land on planets you can have like um, like moon buggy type things the scarab I think it's called where you can land on a planet and buggy around um, discover new things you can do you can be a miner as well you can mine minerals there are an awful lot of um, things that you can do with this game and it does everything really really well I have to say I'm, I'm incredibly impressed with this game it's kept me hooked throughout and the and the the excitement and you feel when you're getting close to having enough money to buy a new ship is really palpable and you really are proud of this new ship that you've got um, and you really find yourself researching and looking at what are the, what kind of ships are out there what kind of ships you want to buy um, and it gives you a real target and a goal now I'm st I suppose you could say I'm still reasonably early into the gameplay I have not got up particularly high in any of the factions um, or anything like that I've not really taken part in many of the community activities yet or even I haven't done a massive amount of multiplayer because I'm kind of scared you know the internet fools are just going to blow up my nice shiny ship and it's going to cost me a lot of insurance every time um, but there are there is so much that I still want to check out in this game that I don't feel that like I'm going to get bored with it anytime soon and if you're looking for a really really intelligent well made um, graphically excellent space simulator on a console on the PlayStation 4 this is definitely worth a buy. Um, there's there are plenty of guides out there if you're worried about the early gameplay and the early elements of the game learning it. My basic tips really are, you know, just persevere and buy a docking computer <laughs> because landing isn't easy when you first start. So overall, I would have to say that I think Elite Dangerous is an excellent addition to playstation 4 i'm really really pleased that it's been released on playstation 4 and it's going to keep me occupied for quite some time yet because i've got a lot of goals that i still want to achieve on the game um, so i do highly recommend buying it i'm going to give it um, a rating of eight probably eight and a half out of ten i would think because it's it, it's just really it's really really addictive um and if you if you keep up the interest by trying different career paths and trying out the different ships as well even ones that you might not even consider trying out um, it will keep your interest up it definitely will because there's there's so much about this game to enjoy and it's 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 a great game to um, chill out with as well I, I would say you know I've not found it particularly um, hard going you know it does up it a little bit when you be, when you start bounty hunting because you've got to really be on your ball there but other than that if you just want to fly around and do a bit of trading and carry passengers around as you know it's, it's an easy game to chill out with so from my perspective this is an excellent game I highly recommend it um, if you haven't got it or if you're thinking about buying it go and get it and give it a go it's an excellent buy so if you've enjoyed this review in any way please subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching bye bye